right, welcome guys. We're gonna make this a quick one today. I'll try to keep it under 30 minutes. <laughs> so if the red dots are in the title, we are live. So hopefully I included the red dots in the title. And if they're not, you're watching the playback. So I'm just gonna pop the chat out here. Make sure we are all good. All right, welcome guys. Jamal, how you doing, man? We got Brack. How you doing? I rock the blues. Grinning Fool, 34 from Maine. Welcome. All right, we've got a few guys here already, which is great. Let me just uh, move my this out of the way. All right, we should be good to go. I'm, I'm streaming this slightly differently to normal, but there's one thing I've, I've got to do before we start. <laughs> there we go. That feels better. I knew there was something missing. A little bit of vibe. <clears throat> Vocal is quiet. All right, I can turn that up. Actually, it's it should be pretty loud. Um, I got it. I can see my levels. So if it, everyone's complaining that it was uh, it's not loud enough, let me know. Fancy intro, thanks, mate. That's one of those uh, little things I made just in case I needed to be right back, so to speak. <laughs> Morning from Perth, Guitar Ray. How you doing? All right, so that was just Maddie K. That, that that's all right. Cool. Uh, 335 is something I've never owned. I would like to own one someday. They're great guitars. For playing Dirty Blues, they're arguably one of the best guitars you can you can play for that kind of music, no doubt about it. So uh, this is from, I'll share a little info with you guys. This is from Artist Guitars. I left some uh, information in the description. Hopefully it turned up on time. Um, if We've got 80 people here already, so don't forget, if you enjoy the live streams, guys, give it a thumbs up. Um, I guess after the success, I guess, of the Grunge Master, you know, having do like one of my videos for those guys, they uh, suggested maybe sending out some more stuff. So I gave them a list of a couple of things that I thought would be really cool for the channel. And this was high on the list because I thought, you know what? I'm a big, well, I don't play 335s as much as I used to, but I still got my Tokai one. So I'm interested to see sort of how far inexpensive guitars have come, in, at least in terms of 335s. In terms of tallies and strats, the solid body guitars, you can pretty much get a good guitar at almost any price, right? But a 335 is something that is a little bit different, so I'm interested to see how it goes. <laughs> is it a full hollow? No, it's not a full hollow. I'm pretty sure it's got a block. It feels like it because it's got a bit of a weight in here. Uh, Lando, welcome, mate. Danny, thanks, mate. Thanks for the support. I wonder how the 335 would sound on the artist amp. So that's what we'll give it a shot with on the actual uh, review of this. Uh, today, I've got the Kemper hooked up. Um, just for the live streaming, it's a whole lot more practical. So I guess we'll get into it. I don't want to waste everybody's time. Thanks for jumping on the, uh, on the live stream too, guys. I appreciate that. And thanks for all the positive comments, especially on the last video that I made, that pickup swap one. That was, uh, the comments were the, were the best yet. So uh, thank you. Time for another rig rundown. I mean, I should call it gear rundown so I don't get uh, a copyright strike. So there's one of those coming up this Saturday. It took me about eight hours to put that video together. No joke. So uh, yeah, we're gonna, that, that video is coming up. And I, I broke that video up into different sections. So there'll be time codes in the description. Uh, and it'll be pretty much going from the stuff I use the most when I gig to the stuff I use least and then cover some of the stuff I use for YouTube as well. Hey, Guitar Hack, welcome, mate. We've got, uh, let me just go through the, geez, a lot of people here already. This is awesome, guys, thanks. And I always get people saying, why don't you schedule the, the live streams? And um, because I stream through OBS, which is a, a like a third party program, I, I didn't know how to actually schedule a stream and then go live with this software, which makes the quality better. So now I've got it sorted out. <laughs> I look tired. I haven't been up a whole lot uh, of time to, today, to be honest. I, it's been a real, we had the hottest couple of days in a row we've had in a long time here. And my house just was like a million degrees, man. It was so hot in here. And it, it's hard to sleep, you know, so. 
uh, it's cooled down today. Today I'm wearing this, so <laughs> it's a lot cooler than normal. But uh, yeah, I guess the last few days I haven't been sleeping too well. Um, for those who don't know, too, I got to get knee surgery coming up, and uh, yeah, it, it's been bugging me a bit as well. So it, uh, it sucks. But anyway, all right, I'll bring this up so we can see what's going on. All right. So yeah, I'm really interested to see if it. Yes, it's left-handed. All right, we've got Eric, welcome mate, hola. Hola, I should say, sorry. Como estás dead? We've got uh, Christopher, how are you doing mate? All right, Felix from Florida, welcome. Oh, Maddie, you don't... Oh. <laughs> Maddie K, thanks so much mate, you don't, you don't have to do that. Look, I just got a guitar sent out, so, you know, you, it's, it's crazy. Thank you, I do, do appreciate the support. It, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll add your name into the credits of this uh, of this live stream yet again, mate. Um, thank you so much. All right, so it's packed pretty well, as you can see. It's got a piece of uh, cardboard down the down the middle. Oh, awesome! We get <laughs> these cables crack me up, man. I mean, yeah, it gets beginners going, but you know. They're, they're, they're pretty crazy. They're pretty crazy. Thanks again, Matty K. You're a madman. Um, I find it strange that I don't get asked questions with those super chats, but you can, <laughs> I, I do appreciate it. Uh, Paul from Montreal, it's minus, minus 12. How do people live in those conditions? <laughs> I, I'm sure it'd be beautiful there, but uh, yeah, I just couldn't hack that cold. That is just way too cold. You know, I was in the down the beach the last couple of days, like walking around in the water, and it was beautiful. Look at this. It's got a lot of dust on there, but no big deal. It's probably from this thing. Oh, you know what? This is just me. I'm a bit odd like this, but um, this stuff, this styrofoam. You know how people have that adverse reaction when people scrape a, a black or chalkboard thing or whatever with their fingernails? This is the same for me. The, the black or, or the, um, the chalkboard doesn't bother me, but this bothers me. I hate this stuff. <laughs> that hits me in the teeth for whatever reason. So, uh, so far so good. It looks great. I'll tell you a bit more about it once we get this off. Hey, the silica gel. I'll save that for later. Tasty stuff. Don't eat the gel, kids. If there's any kids watching. All right. All right, so first impressions of how it feels in the hand. I think it's a, a 60s style neck. It's not uh, quite as fat, I don't think, as a 50s one. So I would assume it's a, a 50s one. Uh, a 60s one, I'm, I'm sorry. We've got the, the binding on the F-holes, which is actually pretty cool. That's, uh, that, that was completely unexpected because I don't think some brands do that still even today. Uh, we have the jack here, which is cool. The toggle switch feels awesome. Look at the back on this thing, holy crap. That's a one piece back. Yeah, it is, how about that? That's insane. Now, I don't really usually care too much about um, how many pieces the, the body's being made out of. Sorry, you can see the reflection here going on, but um, and that weird sort of uh, texture you're looking at is actually my ceiling, because it's that reflective. There's no easy way to sort of showcase how nice the, the back is here. It says uh, Artist QC checked by Leo. Got uh, a very familiar looking headstock. <laughs> what do you think of that? that uh, that's interesting. I should have got my Tokai out and compared it. That's, uh, we got binding on the fretboard. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Feels good. 
What I'm going to do firstly and foremost is tune it up. And I want to do this without putting everyone through the pain of hearing me tune it up. So I'll do it like this and then we'll plug it in. <clears throat> I'll just go back through the comments here, guys. Hang on. It's hard to keep track of them sometimes when I'm showing stuff. Hate the styrofoam. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I, I Ever since I was a kid, you know, I remember like getting fruit and vegetables in those boxes when I was really young and, you know, when my folks would go shopping or whatever and um, at the markets or whatever. And I used to always, it used to always make me go, oh, I hate that noise. It's, uh, that squeak, man, it gets me every time. Tuners feel pretty good. They're nice and smooth. There's no, um, I could probably use a small Titan, but that's no big deal. I'm gonna tune it up again. Let me just, Get rid of this stuff. This is really cool. I'm like shocked, you know, they can make a guitar that looks like this. You know, I've, I've had um, two Epiphone ES-335s. I had one back from about 2000 and it was awesome. And I bought another one a few years later and it wasn't quite as good. Um, it was just that particular guitar, it had a lot of it had, oh, not, not issues, but it, ha it, was, it was a slightly flawed instrument in many ways. I didn't hold on to it for, for, for very long. I should have kept that initial one. That was great. Um, and like I said before, I think it's a lot harder to sort of mess up a, a solid body guitar, whether it be a Strat or a, or a Tally. This kind of guitar requires just a, it requires more work. So. Feels like it's got some good sustain. All right, we might plug it in. What do you reckon? Let's give it a quick go. This chat, this uh, stream will only be 30 minutes or so. I throw those silica packets at, good, at oh, in the guitar case. Oh, that's a good idea. Guitars have come a long way. Budget models offered the lefty freak show option. <laughs> hey Shane, looking forward to a full review. Uh, looks like a nice axe for the price. I think it is. It's, I mean, visually it, it's stunning, uh, but I guess the, the test is the tone test. So let's turn on some speakers to make some noise. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> See if we can, uh, I don't expect this to hold tune. The first thing I'm gonna do before I do the video is actually replace the, uh, replace the strings. All right, let's try it clean first. What do you reckon? Let's see what we got. Now, which way is on? It's a lot of plastic, wow. Sometimes on with lefties is one way and... Yeah, it's a little out. Let me just stretch these in. Where are they made? I think that, oh, I'm getting feedback. Hang on. They're made in uh, China. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it doesn't say. Oh yeah, it probably says in the box. I, I I would assume that's that's where they're made. Let me just stretch these strings out one more time. Now I didn't bring my headphones, so hopefully the audio is going to be alright here. Wait, ah, 
Ah, good. I love this stuff. <laughs> one in the bag and one on the desk normally. <laughs> Hey, Quinton, how are you, mate? So that's a neck pickup. So that's the, the PV Bandit. Both pickups? Both pickups with neck down a bit? the spray I'm using uh, it's called finger ease it's a uh, sort of like a I don't know like a string lubricant or something it kind of keeps the strings clean but makes them makes it feel like you've been playing for a while it's really cool it's I don't know exactly what it is <laughs> it just says guitar string lubricant I don't know I've just been using this stuff probably 12 years or more. Since I first tried it, I was like, oh, this stuff's great. You can spray the back of the neck and all that kind of stuff. If you've got old strings, you can, you can essentially, um, uh, like, it'll, it'll feel better. You can just, it saves you having to change them as often. Swap up the tones. This is still a PV Bandit with the T-Dynamics, or the volume on the T, T-Dynamics down, I think, and the volume all the way up. There's still a clean channel. playing these licks. Tune's just slipped out a bit. Like I said, I'll replace the strings. But uh, so far so good, it feels good in the hand. It's built, uh, it's, I think the thing that's freaking me out a little bit about it is how nice it actually, it's finished. I should have got my 335. Maybe I'll do that in the next video. But uh, yeah, we'll do a comparison or something. Maybe a blind test. See if we can hear a difference between a guitar worth 300 bucks or 350 or whatever it is, or 380 versus um, one that's like two grand. So uh, yeah, very cool. Yeah, nothing on the tuners, doesn't say anything. That's cool, as long as they work. Couldn't care less, it's got nice big frets on it as well, which is something that I like. Personally, I don't really like the little frets a whole lot. I much prefer the bigger ones. So, uh... These new strings, man.
favorite 335 performances of all time is uh, Eric Clapton's Hyde Park. He plays the Strat most of the, the session that he did on, on that show. He went over to um, the 335 and he killed it. The guitar had much better sustain, better tone, and he played like a demon on it. Go watch that live in Hyde Park. The, I think it's like a maybe 1998 or two, yeah, something like that. It's a, it's a show in the 90s after the From the Cradle. It's after the From the Cradle tour. Man, he's playing like a demon. Hey, Amanda, how are you? We've got uh, Ben. Welcome, mate. It's a, it's a family reunion. <laughs> yeah, man, I never had options. Like, even, even though I'm like, there's a lot of guys that watch my channel who are a lot older than I am. I never had cheap, good options when I was learning. It was like, well, I shouldn't say that. We had two options. I had an Epiphone and I had a Squire and that was it. There wasn't a whole lot of like lefty electric guitars out there um, that were like good. <laughs> it just wasn't. I think the only one that I remember seeing was like Samick. And that, I never really liked the look of some of those. They're not bad guitars now, but yeah, some of them I, I wasn't a huge, a huge fan of uh, visually. It, you know what? It's got a bit of weight. I, I think it might actually be slightly heavier than my, my 335, but my 335 is pretty light. Um, I would, I reckon it's about the same weight as a Strat. Mexican standard strat. PV Bandit profile. That's just clean channel cranked. I'm sort of picking pretty soft too, uh, being that I'm not wearing headphones. I don't want anything to feed back. Can you play through the artist amp in your next video? Uh, yeah, I, I will. Yeah. I'm going to do a full, so for those who have just joined, this was just a, a quick unboxing video. It'll wrap up in seven minutes from now. Um, first impressions, I always like to like get stuff, see what I think of it. Uh, if there's any problems, and we found, like, remember the last couple live streams ago, I did unbo an unboxing video, the item didn't work. So uh, that you run the risk of that sort of stuff, but I think it's a good sort of honest way to show you, like, what I think of stuff. Uh, this is an unpaid review as well. I, I don't, you know, I don't take payment for my opinion or anything like that. I, I you know, they let me keep this. That's as far as that goes, but uh, the review... And all, all of what I say on the video is what I say on my videos, so... Yeah, so far so good. I guess we'll find out. I'll replace the strings. We'll try it with a... I'm actually going to use the Artist Tweed Tone amp that's over here at the moment. I've moved some stuff around. Um, and you're going to also see... Un sitting under that little pedal there is, a, is an amp. <laughs> so that, that'll be coming up pretty soon, but... What we're going to do is... Uh, yeah, we'll just... I guess... This will be it, the focus of today's video. So, so I'm plugged into the Kemper back here. Someone was just asking, um, but I'm I'm using a PV using a profile I made of my PV Bandit with all my own gear. So for those who don't understand what the Kemper does, you can it basically captures the tone of any of the gear that you have in the signal chain, whether it's a specific microphone, the mic placement of it, and the sound that's coming out of that amplifier at that particular point. So all the profiles you hear on my channel when I do use it, it's all my own gear. It just saves me having to mic up something and go deaf in the process. I'm going to have to fix my Artist 335 now. Oh, okay. I Let me know what happened to it. If there's, if there's something wrong, that, that's interesting. Uh, Bobby, welcome, man. How much was the guitar? These are, I think they're around, there's a link in the description to the lefties. You can find the right-handed ones easy enough from the website as well. So uh, yeah, just, you can check it out there. 
How many guitars do I have? I've sold a few recently. I got a, a gear rundown video coming up this weekend. It's it's long, but there's time codes. You can see all the stuff that I, I've, I've kept and stuff that I've moved on and all that. I still want to move a few guitars on coming up pretty soon. I, I find like one of those things. What am I? It's like if I don't use something for a while, I just don't want it taking up space. I'm not the kind of guy, even though I've got a few guitars behind me right now, these were all getting used yesterday, right? So I, I filmed a video with all of these guitars. <laughs> so stay tuned for that as well. But um, yeah, it's one of those things where I, I don't like putting them up on the wall or whatever. I'm not, eh, I don't really want to do that. It's just, I don't know. But anyway, so this stuff will get sold coming up. Man, I don't know about this. This is pretty cool in a good way. cool so did I find did I figure out what I'm doing instead of the posters so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna do a bit of a redesign here um, I'm gonna I've got a few ideas for what I want to do I've just got to get it priced up it's nothing elaborate <laughs> either so I just want to I think what I'm gonna do I've taken a lot of good photos over the years at least in my opinion of, of different stuff places I've been uh, instruments all that kind of stuff so I'm thinking maybe of changing it up to like photos I've taken and having them on the wall uh, sort of framed. I'm not 100% certain yet, but uh, I've got a couple of ideas for kind of making it look a little bit better. I'll probably shoot into the corner instead of like that um, pickup swap video I did recently was shot into the corner, but I still have the room set up the same. So I have a few ideas. I just, I've got to spend a full day really doing it right if I'm going to do it. So uh, yeah, something will, something will happen soon. My ears getting good to those attitudes. As, all right, I'll take this as the last question because we're hitting the 30-minute uh, deadline here. Marcel says, welcome, mate, oh, by the way. says, how does this compare to my uh, Tokai 335? First impressions. Well, the first thing that I can tell you that's different is the neck shape is completely different. This is a th much thinner neck, much like a, a 50s one. Um, it's a slightly different kind of red as well. Uh, not that that really matters. It's, it's a bit brighter. I'm pretty, pretty certain mine's a little bit of a darker sort of finish. Uh, but other than that, you know, I actually like this toggle switch more. <laughs> but yeah, the neck's, the neck's a little bit thinner than a 50s. Uh, at least it, it's weird. It feels thinner here, but kind of chunkier up here, which is different too. I need to kind of confirm whether or not that's the case, but it definitely feels thicker a little bit further up the neck. great another difference is uh, in regards to my 335 my uh, Tokai is wide like a Gibson so as a lefty this is the confusing part all of my hollow body all of my Gibson style guitars 
or Gibsons that I've owned or um, the Little Crows and a number of other guitars in the collection, to turn the volume on, it's like it's a right-handed guitar, right? So everything goes backwards. On this, everything goes forwards, which it does on Epiphones as well. And same with the Pure Salem, same with the Harley Benton, same with Fender. All the Fender guitars, the volume pots go the correct way, which is towards this way, right? Towards the neck. Uh, on my Tokai, they all go backwards, but I'm so used to that now that it, um, yeah, it's just one of those things that you, you just get used to as a lefty. Not all of the guitars, and most of these type of guitars usually go backwards, but I'm glad they've put it forwards because if you're a beginner, the last thing you want to do is have to get used to um, pots that go backwards on guitars. It's second nature now for me to do that. Like there's certain guitars I play. This is this will actually take me a little while to get used to because my 335 on is this way. Now on is forwards, which is the way it should be. So it's just one of those things. As a lefty, you get used to that. As a right-hander, you have no problems with it normally. All right, guys. So that's the quick uh, first impressions slash unboxing of uh, the artist ES335. I've put uh, details in the description. So you can, you can have a look and see the specs and all that kind of stuff. Just give me one sec. Just going to turn that off so I don't feed back. And then i got something else I'm going to just show you for one second here, which I'm keen to check out. Um, i got my hands on a ribbon microphone. Uh, this is something that I've wanted to try for quite a while. So we're going to see whether or not ribbon mics are good for vocals, electric guitar. I mean, they're renowned as being good electric guitar microphones, but I want to actually do some comparisons with some of my other mics just to give you a sense of why these are popular. I haven't tried this yet, obviously. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this will be coming up in the next few weeks. I think I'll do the guitar first uh, and then we'll go over to the, to the mic, but maybe we'll mic up the amp with, the, with this. So we'll see how we go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you enjoyed the stream, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that. We might come back and do another live stream, uh, like a Q&A one coming up soon. Uh, not today, I, but soon anyway, maybe later on in the week or something like that. But uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. And if I didn't get to your questions, I apologize. Uh, feel free to leave them after the fact in the um, once the live stream is cached and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, thanks again, guys. I appreciate you hanging out. And uh, I will catch you... Catch you soon.